guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently a few of you guys have been asking me if I could make a tutorial on how I draw my fashion figures. So that's what I'm doing today because I thought it would make a really fun video. And fashion figures are something that have taken me quite a while to find a style that just works really well for me because when you're having all those ideas you just want something you can draw really quickly to jot them down on. But I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and I hope it helps you to get better at drawing your own fashion figures and let's just get right into it. Alright, so here is my sketchbook, and I've had this one for probably like two years-ish now. So there's a lot of different sketches in it. My style kind of, I feel like, has gotten a lot better the past year, I'd say. So some of them are kind of rough, I'll be completely honest. I like this one, this one's not bad. But it is kind of fun to see, you know, how they've changed over the years. This one I like, this one's a good one. <laughs> so when I do my sketches, I like to call the technique I use like an elongated stick figure sketch. That's kind of what I think of it as. So I start off with the head, I just do a little circle. I think most people can you know, draw a very rough circle. Then I put a little line down from it. Kind of fill it in so I know where, how long the neck should be. Just make like a triangle down from your circle, a basic head shape. And then go down from it. And then I know where the shoulders should be, they should be about here. So I do a straight line there. Then I kind of just do a line down and sometimes I make it go all the way down. It's just however I'm feeling. And then, so this is about where the crotch should be. And then I just do two big lines like that. And so that's what I call my, my stick sketch, my stick figure sketch. So from here, I just kind of fill it out. So from here, I can do the neck like this. I can go in and add the chest and the waist, which is about here. And then this is about where the knee should be. So I make that go all the way down, like that. And then from a little bit higher above the knee, I make a second line that goes out and down. And that's where the calf muscle is, like that. And then for the feet, I do like, like half a circle, half a circle, and then like rectangle. Half a circle, half a circle, rectangle. And then you just kind of keep filling it out. And here's the shoulders and the arms. And in all honesty, I am terrible at drawing arms still I just can't figure it out but there they are kind of do the same thing I do with the legs and then here's her thumb like that and the arms are definitely like the least stylistic part that I do with my sketches they're just those are just bad they look like slender men or something I don't know so sorry about that and so that is a very basic sketch and I like to add in collarbones I really like collarbones and then I round out the shoulders, I can add her chest, and there is my very basic sketch. And so that's the technique that I've been using recently and it works just really well for me because I can do it super, super fast. And then from there you can just kind of draw on whatever you're feeling. So I think I'll do a dress for you guys just to show you how I draw my clothes on. So I would probably start with the neckline. So I would want a sweetheart neckline, just like that. Maybe some puff sleeves so they go all the way up puff out those sleeves like that, bring them down, then I want a little like, ruffle here, then you can erase as you go. And so drawing sketches is like anything where it just takes a ton of practice to get something that you like and something that works for you because I know that there's other techniques that work well for other people, um, like the nine head method where you draw nine heads and then you make it proportional to that which works really well for some people, but like I said, I usually just want something really fast so that I can get all my ideas down on my paper before they leave my brain. And I'm definitely not the best at drawing. It's something that I've done for a long time, but I'm still just not super great at. And that is okay. I can draw really well from references, but if it has to come from my own brain, it's not the easiest thing for me. And I like to draw my seam lines so I kind of know what shape I want. And so then whenever I do um, skirt hemlines, I really just draw like a super ragged wavy line like that, super messy. And then I erase out the center. And that's the thing about fashion figures is you often end up erasing a lot of it anyway. So the body really doesn't have to look great. And so then these are my seam lines. Thinking like a paneled skirt here. And so when you take your ruffled line, all these little peaks, you just do a straight line up like this. 
and that will give you motion in the skirt. Like that. And then once I kind of have all the little details down, sometimes I go back in and I do hair. I usually do like these really like curly bangs like that. Kind of a bunch of scribbles. And then do some little scribbles down here. Like that. And boom, she has hair. And faces are also something that I'm really bad at. Sometimes I add a face if I'm feeling real snazzy. A lot of the times I just leave them blank. But when I do a face, I just kind of do like a little circle. Sometimes a little half circle. These ones are little half circles. Straight line for a nose. And then little lips. And that's my basic sketch. So this is how I do most of my design. If you look through, a lot of them are just kind of the same technique. Very elongated. This one has a messy bun instead. And then if I want to do a back view too, you basically do the same thing where you start with a circle, view her shoulders. So the back works like almost exactly the same way. I might do her calves the other way, because she's kind of at an angle here. Um, the only thing that I do different to make it look more like a back is obviously you don't fill out her chest. And then I connect the neck all the way up to the head. And I feel like that's the most defining feature, that it's a back view. So you can't see her chin. And so this is my back view now. So you can just kind of fill it out the same way. Just, I don't even know what happened here. Oof. And so that's kind of how mine look. Sometimes I'll also do some more close-up ones. If I'm just doing the top of the back, I'll oftentimes just go like this. Kind of just do her neck, shoulders, and then I'll just kind of draw it like that. And then you can kind of fill it out just how we did before. And once I get to this point, I usually decide if it's done or if I want to color it in. Um, and I will color this one for you guys. So I have just some colored pencils. And so I kind of have a fabric in mind for this dress because it's, this is a dress that I might actually make in the future. So I'm gonna kind of base it off of that. So I'm just gonna take this pink, I'm gonna kind of go all over with it. And I like to go with the direction of the fabric instead of going this way, which would make it look a lot flatter. I'm going with the grain of the skirt. And so now that I've kind of done a once over, I'll go back with a little bit more pressure from these little draping lines, just to give it a little bit more detail. I'm going to add some green into it because this is kind of a florally pattern. And here is my finished sketch. So I think I'll do another example for you guys now, maybe something with pants this time. So I'll just do the same basic startup. So here's my basic sketch again. So I think this time I'll do, I love me a good pair of overalls. Let's do a turtleneck and some overalls. So I'm just gonna put the little like square panel here. And here is the first pant leg. So it goes all the way down up to, I'm gonna make it cropped actually. And follow down her hip to the other side. Here's the little pocket. Let's do the straps. So now let's add in the pockets. And now I'm gonna add in the turtleneck. So I'm just gonna make it go up, kind of end here, add in the little seam line. And I want this to be pretty fitted, so I'm just gonna kind of trace the arms, make them a little cleaner, and I want them to end here. And let's give her some swoopy bangs and a low ponytail is kind of what I'm feeling with it. And so there's my other sketch.
You can do the back again if you want to. And there are my finished sketches. So this time I think I'm going to color them in with these markers I have. And honestly, coloring in my sketches is something I don't do a whole lot, but I really should do it more. They're usually more just a reference point for me to kind of go off of before I start sewing, instead of, you know, an actual piece of art, which, you know, some people really like just drawing fashion sketches for the artsy aspect of it, but I do it more for the technical side of it. So I think I'm going to accentuate the little pocket going over it one more time and the waistband and the pockets so this one's all colored in now and I think I'm going to take a pen and ink it which I did after so that the markers wouldn't bleed into it all right so there is my finished sketch so these are pretty different as you can probably tell this one's a little bit lighter a little bit more sketchier and this one's a little bit more crisp and colorful, I would say. But that is basically how I draw all my sketches, and they kind of vary from that. Sometimes I'll try to do different poses. See, I did an arm up here. But once you have the basic technique down, it's pretty easy to kind of pose it and manipulate it how you want. So as you can see, I kind of use the same technique to do all my sketches. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I post a new video every Friday. So if you want to hit that subscribe button to see more of my videos, you can do that too. And I hope to see you later.